Now see the second one. Write the additive inverse of each of the following. See here we need to write the additive inverse of these rational numbers. In the properties we already discussed that what is the additive inverse? If our rational number is a by b, its additive inverse is minus a by b. We need to change the symbol. If the rational number is minus a by b, then its additive inverse is minus of minus a by b, which is nothing but minus into minus plus a by b. So like this we will write the additive inverse of the rational numbers. Now see the first one, 2 by 8. What is the answer for this? The additive inverse, like this you need to write in your exams or notebook also. Complete answer you need to write. The additive inverse of 2 by 8 is minus 2 by 8. Just we need to change the sign. Now see here what is the additive inverse of minus 5 by 9. See minus a by b's additive inverse is minus of minus 5 by 9 a by b. So here also that is nothing but minus of minus 5 by 9 minus into minus plus which is nothing but 5 by 9. Nine. See, just we need to change the sign. If it is plus, we need to write minus. If it is minus, we need to write the positive sign. So, now see the third one. Minus 6 by minus 5. Minus divided by minus is nothing but 6 by 5. So, minus 6 by minus 5 is equal to 6 by 5. So, its additive inverse is minus 6 by 5. See, here in the question itself, we have negative sign in numerator and denominator. Minus divided by minus will give us plus. So, it becomes 6 by 5. So, for this 6 by 5, we need to write the additive inverse, which is nothing but minus 6 by 5. Now, see the next one, 2 by minus 9. 2 by minus 9 is nothing but minus 2 by 9. So, whether the numerator have the negative sign or the denominator have the negative sign, the total rational number have the negative sign. So, the number is minus 2 by 9. Here, the additive inverse of minus 2 by 9 is 2 by 9. 9 plus 2 by 9. Now see the last one. 19 by minus 6 which is nothing but minus 19 by 6. Now minus 19 by 6 additive inverse is plus 19 by 6. Like this we will write the additive inverse of the rational numbers. Now see the third Roman that is verify that minus of minus x is equal to x for these numbers. So we need to take the LHS that is minus of minus x. And we need to find the answer. At last we need to observe that whether the LHS is equal to RHS or not. Now see the first one. If x is equal to minus 11, we need to verify minus of minus x is equal to x or not. So first I am taking minus of minus x which is nothing but minus of minus x means in this problem x is equal to 11 by 5 given in the problem. So minus into minus. Minus of minus is nothing but plus 11 by 5. Plus 11 by 5 is nothing but 11 by 5. If we have positive sign before any number, simply we can ignore the sign. So, plus 11 by 5 or 11 by 5 both are same. What is 11 by 5? 11 by 5 is nothing but ex. So, therefore, what we got? Minus of minus 11 by 5 is equal to 11 by 5, which is nothing but minus of minus x is equal to ex. Hence, minus of minus x is verified. Now, see the second one. Here also I am taking minus of minus x which is nothing but minus of minus x means minus 13 by 17. So, minus of minus into minus. Inside the bracket 2 minus is have. So, minus into minus becomes a plus 13 by 17. Now, minus into plus is nothing but minus 13 by 17 minus 13 by 17 is nothing but x. So, therefore, minus of minus x is equal to x, hence verified. So, like this, we will solve this type of problems. Now, see the fourth Roman that is find the multiplicative inverse of the following. So, for these rational numbers, we are going to find the multiplicative inverse. What is multiplicative inverse? The reciprocal of the rational number or the reverse of the rational number is nothing but multiplicative inverse of that rational number. See the first one that is minus 13. So how to write answer for this? So the multiplicative complete answer we need to write. Multiplicative 
inverse of minus 13 is minus 1 by 13. Here we won't change any sign. So multiplicative inverse is nothing but its reciprocal. Minus 13 is nothing but minus 13 by 1. Its reciprocal is minus 1 by 13. So like this we will write the multiplicative inverse. Now see the second one. What is the multiplicative inverse of minus 13 by 19? Our number is minus 13 by 19. Its reciprocal is minus 19 by 13. Remember the point, the symbol won't be changed. If it is a negative number, its reciprocal also will be negative only. Now, see the third one. What is the reciprocal or what is the multiplicative inverse of 1 by 5? 1 by 5's reciprocal is nothing but 5 by 1 which is equals to 5. So, the multiplicative inverse of 1 by 5 is 5. Now, see the fourth one. So, here we need to solve this. First we need to multiply these two rational numbers and we need to convert this into a single rational number. Then for the answer we need to write the multiplicative inverse. Is there any cancellation? No, not there. So how we treat the multiplication in rational numbers? We need to multiply the numerator with the numerator and denominator with denominator. So that is nothing but minus into minus. So minus 5 into minus 3 by 8 into 7. So minus into minus plus 5 3 is 15 by 7 8 is 56. So minus 15 by 15 by 56 reciprocal is or multiplicative inverse is 56 by 15. So like this we will write the multiplicative inverse. Now see so the next one. Here also we need to multiply minus 1 and the numerator of the rational number. So minus 1 into minus 2 by 5. Minus into minus plus 1 to 2 by 5. Now the 2 by 5 so multiplicative inverse is 5 by 2. See the last one. We need to write the multiplicative inverse of minus 1. Minus 1's multiplicative inverse is nothing but minus 1 means minus 1 by 1. So, it's a reciprocal 1 by minus 1 which is nothing but minus 1 only. So, the multiplicative inverse of minus 1 is minus 1 only. So, like this we will solve the multiplicative inverse problems.